Hi, my name is Keith Cooper of Northlight Images. Some short video about Canon's abundance of caution when it comes to margin setting on uh, their printers, some of them. Uh, particularly this, the Canon Pro 310. This applies to the Pro 1100 and older printers as well. Um, so just as well applies to this, the Pro 300. And it goes back further than that. Uh, basically, somebody contacted me this morning and said, oh, I just got a warning when I'm doing a printing. And the warning said, and I'll say what it actually is, the selected paper size does not have wide margins. If you continue printing with the current settings, problems such as paper abrasion may cause paper stains and deterioration of the print quality. Printing with a paper size that has wide margins is recommended. Now, is this something to worry about? Um, in general, no. Um, so Canon has long had an abundance of caution when it comes to aspects of paper margins, paper sizing, maximum page, page lengths and, and things like that. Um, mostly you can happily ignore it. Uh, here's a borderless print. This is a slightly tatty one because uh, it's printed on a watercolour type paper. And um, it has a, it's a, it's a matte uh, paper, so it's using matte black ink, um, just a flower from the garden. And it's fine. There are no problems at the ends here. This particular, particular paper sort, if I remember rightly, when I tried it, I got this warning on it. And, uh, you know, there is nothing wrong with it. But you should be careful if you have paper with curls at the corners or, uh, you know, a, a strong curl, anything like that, you want a flat sheet of paper. Uh, it's, if you cut stuff from roll, you need to decurl it. Um, obviously, roll printers are designed to handle stuff like that more easily and uh, it's less of a problem. But printers like this, I said this goes back a long way and it does. Um, I'm just looking at some of my printer reviews. Now, these are the ones that I've been writing for years, uh, long before I started making videos. And I looked at some of the examples in reviews that I did regarding margins, because the other issue is, as well as that warning there, uh, you may get a paper type specified that has a larger margin on it, uh, and it will it'll flag up warnings. Now, there is now in the drivers for the newer printers, an option to cancel margin regulation. And you will get the warnings and things that go with it. Um, that's so you can actually do decent sized prints. Because if I go back to some of my older reviews, uh, this is, these are the written ones. And I'll, I'll put some links in case you're curious about them. If I go back to 2010, um, I was reviewing the Canon 9500 Mark II uh, pigment ink printer print head almost identical. I can't remember for sure, but I believe almost identical to what's in this, the 310. Obviously the inks have changed dramatically. Well, quite a bit, I should say, rather than dramatically. But with this, and I can see this old interface, this shot here, um, I've got margins shown at the top and bottom, and I'm going to get something chopped off on the print. That was on the 9500, and it was, I put it in the review, it was one of the major issues I had was the enforced leading and trailing margins, uh, which meant using small paper sizes on art media, almost impossible. You could work around it a bit by using a different media setting, but then you would have to recreate profiles specially, and it was not a good solution. So that's, that was 2010, the 9500. 90, Looking at the Canon Pro 1, Similar problems with that in that you have large margins. This time it shows you can see the top and bottom of the print chopped off. Same thing there. Uh, if I look at 2013, the Pro 10, now that's the predecessor of this, the Pro 300. Pro 10 definitely has the same print head in it that this one and this one has in it. 
Um, there are a lot of similarities. Canon is very conservative in its designs quite often. And that is one of the reasons for this. And I'll come back to some of the actual reasons for some of this. And I can see here an enforced 30 millimeter margin. That was for the Pro 10. If I look at the Pro 1000, when that came out and I first looked at it in 2016, you couldn't print longer than about, I think, 25 and a half inches long. I can't remember what the metric is of that, which meant that when I did a print, this is from the review I did of that back in 2016, um, that large margin at the bottom there is because of the maximum page length on the Pro 1000. And there was uh, justifiable criticism of Canon on this, and they brought out firmware adjustments. In fact, I said in the review, I said this will likely get changed with firmware, and it did. And the page length went up with uh, new firmware additions. And when the Pro 1100 came out, we've got even longer uh, maximum page lengths. So we've got the margins, which are caused by Canon basically worrying about the edge of the paper and, oh, is it going to hit the print head or something like that? No, it doesn't most of the time. Occasionally it will, but it's almost always paper related issues. And as I say, ignore the warnings, but do be careful with them. So there's that. That was with the 1100. Um, with the 200 and 300, they got rid of these margins, but still the warnings. So that's good. And the Pro 1100, as I said, longer paper altogether. Now, interestingly enough, with the Pro 1100, some early printers were prone to banding, very slight banding, very visible on dark pictures. If I'd have printed this on a, a, a luster paper or a gloss paper, it might well have been visible in the black here. But typically those problems occurred within the first two to three centimeters. Sometimes there was banding right the way through the image, but quite often banding was more noticeable. Now, the less charitable people would say that having it in that position there allows Canon to fall back on that warning notice that they've given you, but it, it was more complex than that. I believe it's been sorted, but I still recommend that if you get a Pro 1100, that you do some testing just to make sure that this, you've not got one that's got a problem with banding. It was very uncommon, but it happened. And I know Canon replaced quite a few printers. These things happen with early printers models. There's you know changes and things. People say, why should it? It's the same as the thousand. Superficially, it looks the same. Yes, I know the inks have changed and there are lots of the same print head and that, but there will be differences between them. And that appears to have introduced banding issues. In fact, even on this, on the 310, I had to be quite careful when setting it up to make sure that I did a proper head alignment and also a feed adjustment uh, because I did detect after I'd first set it up a little bit of banding on it, very faint. But as I say, when you're looking for it, put it under a bright light, with something like this, once you see it, you won't unsee it. So that's always something to be a bit careful of. Um, I mentioned Canon being, uh, being a bit conservative about the settings. Um, I once, I, I, I inquired about page lengths on a printer once and was told that effectively um, the limit of print length on it was limited by how much paper could sort of dangle over the front of a desk and the weight and the pull that made on it before it made influence the printing. Um, so just remember that when you see these warnings and that, that Canon's engineering design is very conservative um, in terms of the mechanical limits and things like this. If you find limits in post and the warning notices, yeah, just yeah, just be careful, ignore them, but take care. Now, I hope that's been of uh, some help. Uh, got me to look at some of my old printer reviews to see what's changed and what hasn't changed. Uh, anyone waiting for my Pro 310 or 310 review? My apologies again for the delays in it. We are now formally moving house. We've, we've started moving, but we're formally moving house next week, which is why I'm in an increasingly empty office and house here because we're moving some stuff. All the big stuff moves next week. Um, and then I move to a new lo location. Um, and we'll see what happens there. Anyway, hope that was of some interest. Thanks for watching and uh, bye.